So, <clears throat> my voice is back now. Uh, the flashlight is charged now, as you can see. There's the green LED indicator. I was very puzzled because I thought the flashlight was completely discharged and I couldn't start it. I tried to open it. I, uh, I had a suspicion it has uh, some kind of protection and it did have but I tried to open it with all my power using uh, some welder, welder gloves and to no success. So I called my dealer and he told me yes you can open it but you should uh, you should screw the handle in and use it uh, as leverage to increase the the torque and this is how i finally managed to open it let's try it again so just now it opens more easily but the first time was very very extremely tight so impossible to open without the handle so uh, here we have the the body of the flashlight with the battery pack and uh, the head of, of, the, of the flashlight with a spring and on this spring let me see if I can find it uh, it was this little sucker this was the protection and once I removed it of course the flashlight was unblocked and everything was fine okay let's screw this back on Oops. So, uh, another curious thing is that is that uh, there's absolutely no mention on this instruction paper about the sa that safety tab. I looked for it. I, there isn't any mentioning. I couldn't open the flashlight, so I deduced. Uh, wasn't any protection so Ace Beam should really take care of these details because these details makes the difference between an average company and a professional top company so warning you have to use all your force with a handle mounted to open the flashlight before the first use Open it here and remove that uh, safety tab that uh, breaks the contact. Okay, uh, another another uh, issue, I believe, is that uh, the cap covering the charging port can be completely removed, and it's not linked in any way. It's not uh, tied. To the body of the flashlight and I really have to tie it uh, with this loop with a nylon thread or something to be to be uh, sure that I won't lose this because you can easily lose this and uh, that would be a problem it won't be watertight anymore right so uh, I discharged the light three hours ago and now I completely and properly charged it. Let's see. 
Okay, it's uh, it's on power now. Uh, the the flashlight comes uh, on the eco mode. In order to activate the power mode, which uh, allows uh, sixty thousand lumens, you should first. There is the spot on the ceiling. You should first uh, press the. I will show you. Press the side switch 10 times, so now it is on uh, power mode, if I press this 10 times, the flashlight is closed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no, that's not it, I think I have to press faster, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, and uh, you could notice two flashes, and that means the flashlight is on the eco mode. That only allows uh, a maximum uh, of uh, 35,000 lumens, if I'm not mistaken, on the turbo. Um, yep, 35,000. I, I really don't understand why why the need for this eco mode? Who spends six hundred dollars on a flashlight to only use it on eco mode? I don't know. But anyway, now to so this is how the the, the flashlight comes. Uh, it is set on the eco mode, and if I pressed the turbo, quick two times, this is the the small. <laughs> Yes, that's only 35,000 lumens. Oh my god, this is blinding. So, look at the room. It's almost like daylight in here. So this is only 35,000 lumens. In order to get the full 60 thousand lumens first turn it off one click then quickly press 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ah. again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay three flashes this time and now it's on the power mode so if i press once, uh, let's see, this is uh, um, 3000 lumens mode, then if I keep it pressed, 8000, 25000, then 3000 lumens again. And if I double click, that's the 60,000 lumens. <laughs> Just look at this. It's it's just like daylight. The whole room is yeah. Okay. I will go outside next to give you some first impression beam shots.